Hello everyone, I'm Zishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive YouTube channel, your own training institute. In today's lesson, we will learn about Shape Splatter Node. Now, Shape Splatter Node is um, almost like Tile Sampler Node, but it have a good capability to conform the shapes with the background. So we'll see that in a bit, but first let's see how it is different than the tile sampler and why it's better than the tile sampler in some cases so here i have the tile sampler node you can see that and uh, this is how it looks like so i have my custom uh input here which is the shape node and this is can uh, like uh, input it inside the pattern input and then in the background i have the, uh, in the background input i have the Berlin noise so you can see that it's producing a noise on the floor like with from through the Berlin noise and it is extruding this shape over it so everything is working fine however if i like kind of turn this around just like this notice that if i go flat to the angle all of these um shapes like these uh one which i created they are flat on a line they are not following the ups and downs of the ground if the ground is like kind of uh, moving up first this is raised so these are not raised if these are if the ground is sinking like sinking down so these are not sinking down they are just there on it without any sort of uh, like conformity or like they are not following the shape of the ground so to avoid this we'll use the shape splatter node and a shape splatter node will uh, really help in, the, in in this case and it have some other options too so let's do that let's bring the shape splatter and here shape i have where's the shape splatter here it's the shape splatter kind of look like it right but you have some more stuff here splatter data so which we will discuss later on so what i will do take my uh tile sampler put it here oops sorry put it here oh, wait The background is up here so the background from here of of uh, shape splatter is not on the on bottom it is on the top just like this okay and let's move everything here now i have the berlin noise uh here apart from this i will take my these the, the shapes from here and using the pattern input now i'll go inside the shape splatter and in the pattern i will use the pattern number one okay and you can see it's already number one you can see it is giving me the same uh pattern which we have here now still there is no uh height to it so i can go in the scale to fix the height sorry not the scale uh in the height itself because in uh shape splatter you have a height uh option here so if i if you will go to the height offset you can increase the height offset here so it will go higher okay so maybe i can increase it more maybe 25 okay so i get this but it's too too much just like that now just notice here right off the bat when i increase the height offset it is following the ups and down of the ground so where the ground is go when the ground is on the top so you can see it is on the top when it is going down this is going down so just notice that it is following it very nicely however we can uh, fix it more and make it look much more nicer here 
now this is basically because of the conformity when we uh, when our shape is conforming with the background now in the height uh, like parameter inside our shape splatter we have conformed to background now the conform to background at this point is uh, zero so if i start to increase it okay so what it will do is that it will start conforming it more towards it or i think better to keep it a little lower maybe 0.77 and what else we can do here is that to see how if how it is working uh, right or you know if it is working fine or not uh let's do one thing here decrease this uh height offset let's bring it to zero and i'll explain it a little bit first i want to show something here and then go back to the uh, the tile here is increase the size of it okay now i will go back here okay now let's go back to the scale oh sorry height and now if you will see they are following it up and down everything is going fine okay whatever is up they're up whatever is down they're down but still you can see that the conformity is a little bit weaker here so if i go to the conform to background option and start increasing this you can see that how they are trying to follow the back uh, the background and becoming it more and more uh like conform to it now just see how it looks like so you have a better result than before so let's uh see with and without the conform so without just see they're all straight just following the vertical direction of the uh map like uh this noise per like perlin noise down there but if i increase the conform to background option so it's not only following the vertical but also horizontal uh like like x axis y axis z axis all the axis is following so that's what the conform to background actually do so here what i will do is that i will keep this one a little bit lower like 0.77 so that we can have a little bit imperfection other, uh, otherwise it will look uh, un unnatural like uh, it won't look that natural so height offset mm, 0.72 let's make it a little bit higher okay not too much but will make a small difference here now i think it's not that oh, much so let's make it 1.57 okay now kind of good now it, it looks much more better now uh like tile sampler we can add some more maps to it to create cool effects like suppose if i go here and add a star okay bring it here inside the tile center if i will go in the pattern input increase it to two and then i will have here pattern two and i can put this in the pattern two and you can see that pattern two the star is also following the uh, the flow of the ground okay so this is one more uh, like like this is the like really good reason for me to love uh the shape splatter so uh, again what we can do is that we have uh in instance parameters here x and y so we can increase or decrease here point uh, or the amount of it So we can have less number of it and just see how they are following it's like not straight it's like conforming very nicely the shape of it everything now you have more like similar or like sliders just like you had in the tile sampler 
So we have the pattern distribution map multiplier here. So if you can increase it, it will start giving up uh, some values. Uh, like it will start dividing the values here between the star and the circle, like pattern one and pattern two. So it's up to you, like how you want it, or you want to switch them. Okay, like suppose if we'll select these two, press X on my keyboard, it will be switched. And now I, if I will increase this one or decrease this one, the circle will get affected. Same thing we have here, the scale, scale random, scale overlap, scale no overlap. Now what this will do is that if I will scale it randomly, okay, or and scale it more, you can see that it is overlapping to each other. So if I will scale no overlap, so what will do, it will try to push it next, uh, like away from each other so that it won't get overlapped. You can see that. Now scale map multiplier, you can add the map here and it will it, it will act just like what we did in the tile mult, uh, in the uh, tile sampler. So if you have not seen the tile sampler video, just go back to previous lessons and there is a complete video on tile sampler. So most of the things are same size ratio by shape. So uh, you can change this depending on the size ratio, preserve expert ratio. Like suppose if I increase this one, I can preserve the expect ratio of it while changing the size. Especially here if you have. Okay, then we have uh, position random. Randomly it will be positioned. Okay, and then well, we have random distribution, different type of uniform, non-uniform. We have vector ma map multiplier, but we, at this point, we don't have any vector map here. Offsets, vertical offset, horizontal offset. Then scale shape, you have different sort of scale shapes here for distributing. Now, random uh, like rotation from background slopes so depending on the background slopes it will start rotating this just notice how let me reduce the rotation random and increase the rotation from the background slope so just see the one that is high it is rotated in this direction the one that is low it's rotated in this direction so different directions for different like rotation uh, parts here that it will do Okay. And if you have a map multiplier here uh, plugged in, so you can do with the map, or if you have the vec uh, vector map multiplier. Then height offset, we have height offset random. Increase this one. So some will be uh, higher off the ground, and some will be below off the ground. So you can change or you can increase the value like you can type it so here then and increase more and reduce this now height scale random so it will randomly change the heights of different uh shapes here Conform to background already I explained. Now smooth conform background. If I will increase this one, what it will try to do is that uh, it will give a smooth blend between the background and the shape which is over it. Skew from the background shape. So this will take my background shape and will smooth it. Background shape, sm slope smoothness. So this will smoothen up if there is any slope over there in the background. Okay. Cut black pixels. You can turn it on and off. So what it will do is that if you will notice, this whole shape will be counted as 
a complete shape so if you want to use this you can use it's up to you it looks like a block but sometime maybe you will you might need it okay then a flat uh, pattern base so whatever base it have it will become a flat so already it is flat so it won't give me an, any sort of result now masking here mask random randomly it will be masked some stuff will show some will not show you can put your own mask so where let's so wherever is the white area it will the like these maps will show over there and wherever is the black will not show over there this is random so you can see that this mask by background slope so based on the background slope it will do the masking here so these are pretty much these option and here one thing we have is the splatter data now how the splatter data actually works so and what it is splatter data actually if you will see that we have here pattern one pattern two and that's what splatter data one and splatter data two is uh referring to so if i go here and bring this color input here okay and remove this color from here and bring any color input Uh, actually, let's bring the gradient here. Okay, I will take the splatter data one. Okay, put it here. And this have to be color, grayscale color. So the, for the color here, we have to use splatter uh sh shape splatters on splatter uh like color node so if we have here splatter color so we can oh sorry splatter of uh, blend color i will take this one okay now we have here splatter data one and splatter data two so if i click here double click it here so you can see it is showing me this part which is basically uh the background okay and if i go to the splatter data 2 and this is showing me the shapes actually so the splatter data 2 contains the shape and splatter data 1 contains the background so here i have to plug these both okay one here this one and this one here okay so now you can see that i have here uh, these information here but how many uh patterns we have uh, here we have pattern one and pattern two and then we have a background here so i have here only one pattern inside the shape splatter blend okay so here instead of one i will make it two so i have here now one and two now you can take a gradient map or you can take your uh, uniform color so anything you can use you can put it here so i will take the uniform color okay and put this here and duplicate it three times Okay. Let's, let's make this green. We don't have any issue here. This output is for background. So maybe I want the background to be a little bit sandy color. So I will put this output color to the background color. Okay. And now pattern one. Uh, let's plug this here inside the base color so we can see what's going on okay now this one for pattern one maybe this one can be red 
So I will put this in the pattern one. You can see stars are pattern one. And I will take the uniform color, the two also, and make it blue. And this one will go to the pattern two. And here we go. So this is how you can do uh, the shape splatter coloring also. And easier to color, as easier to work with it. And a very decent and, viv uh, and very useful uh, note. I use this a lot because it's it gives a lot of uh, like good options. So when life gives you lemon, so you should make lemonade. So I hope you have liked this lesson and I'm sure you will be waiting for the next lesson. Our next lesson will be uploaded soon. So by the meantime, uh, in the meantime, you take care of yourself and keep supporting my channel and keep watching my channel, my videos online and share it with your friends, share it with uh, anyone that you know and who wants to learn uh, different CGI courses, Substance Designer, 3D Studio Max, Maya, ZBrush. So share my channel to them and I hope you have learned something from today. Till then, uh, we, uh, till we meet uh, in the next class, take care of yourself, stay healthy and keep learning. There is one important announcement I would like to make. I have started three great membership plans on my channel. I have introduced ZDive Friends membership plan, which will give you exciting perks like loyalty badges and priority on comments. I have also introduced ZDive Early Bird plan, which will give access to Z interactive tutorials way early before they become public. So you will get all these lessons at once and you can binge watch. Last but not the least, I have introduced ZDI Premium Plan which will give access to advanced professional tutorials which you will find it very very expensive outside and I will be giving this at a very low amount of price. So visit my channel now and click on the join membership to get more information. I hope you become one of my members. If you want to learn how to create a highly detailed prop procedurally using Substance Designer, so this premium tutorial series is for you. Join my premium membership plan on YouTube and get access to all premium tutorials. In this tutorial series, I will demonstrate how to use Substance Designer along with simple geometry to create a realistic smashed up retro television.